India has made remarkable progress in the adoption of non-cash payments in recent years, supported by government's push for digital payments and improvement in payments infrastructure. The card payments market in India is estimated to grow by 28.6% in 2023 to reach Rs 27.9 trillion, that is $337.1 billion, as per the report from Global Data. Welcome to VAR India News R. India has traditionally been a cash-driven economy. However, the usage of cash for payments is on the decline. Government measures such as reducing merchant service fees and providing subsidies to merchants for installing point-of-sale terminals are some of the key factors behind card payment market growth in the country. The government has been promoting digital payments through initiatives such as the Unified Payments Interface that is UPI and Bharat QR. With this, the card payments value in India registered a robust growth of 26.2% in 2022, driven by economic growth, consumers' increasing preference for electronic payments, and constant efforts by financial authorities to boost cashless payments. The strong growth momentum observed in card payments value is expected to continue in 2023. The other factors including rising disposable income of the middle class is leading to an increase in the demand for credit and debit cards and e-commerce sales in India are expected to reach Rs 1.3 trillion, that is $160 billion in 2023 and card payments are the preferred mode of payment for online purchases. While there has been a robust rise in card usage for point-of-sale payments, including both at physical point-of-sale terminals and online, its usage for cash withdrawals at ATMs is gradually slowing down. In 2023, ATM cash withdrawals are estimated to increase by just 4.6% to reach Rs 34.4 trillion, that is $416.2 billion. The pandemic also highlighted the importance of non-contact payment tools, thereby benefiting card payments. There is a strong drive on the card payments and reduced dependence on cash. The government abolished merchant service fees on transactions with state-owned rupee cards from January 2020, encouraging mer merchants to accept payments with rupee cards. Further, the Reserve Bank of India allowed banks to levy cash withdrawal charges up to rupees 21 that is $0.25 per transaction beyond the monthly fee transaction limit from January 2022, thereby discouraging cash usage. The reality is consumers in India are increasingly embracing electronic payments, gradually moving away from cash. While mobile wallets have been the major beneficiary of this trend, card payments are also on the rise, with growing consumer awareness about card benefits and rising merchant acceptance. Let's look into today's headlines. Isha, Akash and Anand Ambani appointed on the board of Reliance Industries Limited. The oil to telecom conglomerate Reliance Industries Limited MD and Chairman Mukesh Ambani made a slew of key announcements during its 46th annual general meeting. While Isha, Akash and Anand Ambani, the children of Mukesh and Nita Ambani, will be appointed to the RIL board, Nita Ambani will step down from the Reliance board and continue as the chairperson of the Reliance Foundation. Mukesh Ambani will continue as Chairman MD for five more years. YouTube tests new Hum to Search song in three seconds feature. YouTube is testing a new feature that lets users to search for songs by humming, singing or recording them on the Android app. According to YouTube's support page, the platform is currently testing a song search feature in its Android app that allows users to figure out a song on YouTube in three seconds or more of humming, singing or recording music. Yahoo Mail introducing new generative AI features. Yahoo is leveraging Google Cloud's AI platform to build its own set of generative AI features. These were previously tested on iPhones but are now available to users on web browsers. Yahoo is also reportedly adding a shopping feature called Shopping Saver that will enable users to find gift cards, discount codes and store credit hidden in inboxes. OpenAI launches ChatGPT Enterprise OpenAI is launching ChatGPT Enterprise for businesses. The offering will provide the much-needed enterprise-grade security and privacy that companies have been seeking from AI chatbots. The ChatGPT Enterprise will also offer unlimited higher-speed GPT-4 access, longer context windows for processing longer inputs, advanced data analysis capabilities, and customization options, among others. 
Google might work with Garmin to enable satellite connectivity on Android smartphones. Google is reportedly working with Garmin to enable satellite connectivity on Android smartphones. According to code strings found in the latest version of the Messages app, Garmin could be the enabler of emergency SOS via satellite to Android phones. As Garmin already has several satellite communication products, it would be logical for Google to partner with them and take advantage of their infrastructure. That's all for now. Please like, share, comment and subscribe to War India magazine. You can download the War India app from Google Play Store and Apple App Store for more news and updates. Stay tuned. Thank you.